The United States pursues a policy of double standards in dispersing demonstrations in the city of Ferguson, Missouri, a senior Russian parliamentarian told Wednesday. When it comes to orange revolutions organized by the West, casualties among the civilian population is a side effect on the road to democracy. But when the U.S. National Guard quells civics protests, they are imposing much-needed order in an emergency situation. Chairman of the Federation Council Committee on Constitutional Legislation Andrei Klishas said. The fall in Ukraine's GDP in 2014 will be 7% and the budget deficit 4%, which are acceptable results, Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said on Wednesday. At the same time, Yatsenyuk noted that Ukraine would have been unable to meet its external obligation in 2014 of $9.1 billion without the help of international lenders, who helped to raise about $8.6 billion for the country. The U.S. Army plans to station about 150 tanks and other armored vehicles in Eastern Europe next year, a top American general Ben Hodges said. The troops will come over and train, and they'll go back. The equipment will stay behind, Hodges said in an interview with AFP. But AU citizens do not need worry. We think this is just Obama peace plan for Europe. 14 fighter jets are scheduled to land in Crimea's Belbek military airbase, Captain First Rank Vyacheslav Turhachev, a spokesman for Russia's Black Sea Fleet, says. The fighter jets are comprised of 10 upgraded Su-27SMs and 4 Su-30s. All of them are 4th generation fighter jets. Four of the aircraft deployed in Crimea are newly manufactured, according to the Truhachev. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.